All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon. So first what you wanna do, well, I probably shouldn't have un redid all the screws, but basically remove or undo all the screws. The screws actually hold themselves in place, so you just have to loosen them. All right, so just like this. Should have left them unscrewed. Um, you do need to use a PH0 or a J0 screwdriver. Don't use a PH1 or J1 or a smaller one or you'll damage the screws. So make sure that you're using a PH0. And when you unscrew it, make sure that the screwdriver doesn't jump out. So make sure to twist it, make sure it's actually turning the screw. All right, once you undo all those screws, um, you can get your fingernail or a pry tool in the gap between the two layers and then you can lift it up. The whole thing should come up like this at an angle and then you can pop it out. If it doesn't pop out, um, what you can do is while you're lifting it, um, pull this way and then pry underneath and you can pop out these clips on the bottom. These bottom clips are kind of more difficult to remove. All right, once you do that, um, then you gotta remove this plastic piece here covering the battery connector. Just lift it up. And then at the front, uh, you want to use your fingernail, not a pry tool, because it's going to be difficult to feel. If you don't have fingernails, just wait till they grow out. Or I guess you can try using a pry tool, but be very careful. You want to pry just the front of the battery connector. So just pop it like that. Once you pop it out, you can slide the battery connector up this way forward, and then the whole connector will come out. All right. After that, I like to slide this plastic over it so the battery doesn't connect itself. Um, after you do that, open it slowly because now you have one less screw holding each hinge. Um, and then just hold the power button for about 15 to 20 seconds just to make sure the power is released. Um, especially if you're going to deal with the um, LCD cables. Okay, so after you hold the power button, um, then you can see here there's a speaker connector here. To remove that, you just grab the two uh, wings with your fingers and then just wiggle it while you pull and it'll pop out. Just keep wiggling it. If it doesn't come out, um, it'll eventually come out. Just keep wiggling it. Okay. Um, I don't want to remove all these stuff because they threaded the, the battery around it and I just need to check the screen for this customer. So I'm not going to remove everything, but I'll kind of show you what's going on here. Um, let's see if I can figure out Okay, so the board is actually all one piece. Um, they have like these pieces extending out. It's kind of weird. They cut little holes in the board. Um, but yeah, so you got the CMOS battery here with the connector here. You got the keyboard here. Um, this looks like the uh, keyboard backlight. To remove these cables, you just flip up these little latches and you can pull the cable out. Um, I believe this is the trackpad connector. Um, let's see here. So I think one of this is the fingerprint fingerprint sensor. I'm not sure what the other one. Oh, the other one I think goes to this board. Hmm. Yeah, I think the blue one is for the power button. Yeah, something like that. Um, then you got the wireless card under here. Just like all the other videos I've done, remove the screw. You can pop it up at an angle and then wiggle it out. Um, I don't see removable RAM. This might actually be the RAM or video memory. Um, I don't want to peel all this stuff out since I don't need to take it out. But the wireless antennas, you just go near the tail and then you can pop it up to put it back. You just line it up and push it straight down. Um, this looks to be an M.2 SATA SSD. I don't know if it supports M.2 PCIe NVMe. Um, but yeah, so you got that. All right plastic over there. Then you got some more wireless antennas for, um, I believe there's a mobile broadband. That's what the SIM card slot is for. Um, and then you got the fan here. The fan has uh, this solid flat connector. So just like all the other ones, lift the latch up and you can pull it out. Then you got the um, stuff for the, the screen and the LCD and the um, webcam. So I'm not sure which is which. They're not labeled, but um, yeah, 30 pin. I think this is for the LCD connector. But that's all there is to this um, board. The CPU is soldered in, of course. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to this computer. Um, 
if you wanted to remove the battery, it looks like they put the mounts underneath the speakers, so you'll have to take out the speakers and then you can lift out the battery. Um, but yeah, there's two screws holding that. All right, so now I'm gonna go to the front because this one is having some screen issues. Hopefully I don't have my customers outside waiting for me. Um, but yeah, so open the screen, all right. Um, and also with every computer that you work on, you want to make sure that you're grounding yourself. I have my knee touching a metal desk to kind of like pull any static electricity away from me. But um, yeah, so to open the screen, just pop out these little rubber caps. All right. Use a little needle and then just pop them out just like that. All right. And then take out these two screws. One on this corner and one on this corner. All right, I'm probably gonna have to cut this video early because I think people are here for me. Let's see. All right. Once you get all of that out, um, you gotta pry underneath the frame. There is an adhesive, so be careful. Um, you don't want to damage the screen. And then I also like to push on the rubber part while I'm doing that. So. And you basically just do this all the way around. Just making all that noise outside. Yeah, I might have a customer outside. But um, yeah, basically you have to pry all of this out. Um, shoot. I think I made another video of this recently. But um, yeah, this one's going to be tough with the adhesive. So... I don't want to rush it, but let's see here. Okay, so it's all coming out. And again, around the edges, you want to push it towards the inside while you're pulling it out, and that'll undo the clips. So here you can see as I push it down and then pull it out. Yeah, you can pop it out just like that. All right, there we go. And you basically just do this all the way around. The only problem with this is they have this adhesive in here. So I don't know if you can even see it, but yeah, that adhesive is going to be a problem. Oh, I hope the LCD isn't damaged. It's a very thin LCD. So. So the LCD layers actually separated while pulling this. So if you're going to attempt this, you might want to only attempt it if your LCD is already broken. Okay. And it's held in place with four screws. So let's pop this out. Put so much adhesive on here. I'm going to have to use this pry tool to keep the adhesive down. Okay. Just keep going. So just pull this out. Hopefully you can see it. All right, there we go. And then pop these clips out. Yeah, they kept this adhesive is too strong. Yeah, so if you work on this, make sure when you're working on it that your screen's already broken because there's a good chance you might damage the screen trying to take this out. Okay, peeling all the adhesive up. Okay, there we go. Let's adhesive back on. go towards the bottom as well. Let's see if there's clips here that need to be removed. So there are clips on this side too, so you will have to go from the bottom as well. And then just slide your fingernail or pry tool along the bottom and pop it out just like that. Okay, once you do that, you should be able to pull this whole thing up. Just be careful with the adhesive. 
And then this whole piece will come out just like that. Okay, so this adhesive is being a pain. And that's pretty much it. Um, you can take the screws out. So let's see here. Let's remove these four screws. And I'm going to have to end the video there because someone's at my door. Once you remove those four screws, you can lean the screen forward, just like this, all right? And then you can see there's a tape and the little latch. So to remove this, you'd pull the um, tape off and then undo the little latch, and then you can pull this connector off. Make sure you undo this little latch um, and then the webcam. But that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. Bye.